growing up happens in phases. You start off as a squidgy thing that doesn't really do much. Then you hit the terrible twos and become a demanding little asshole. Followed by around 10 years of playing with Lego. And that's all good. Of course you become a moody prick for around 6 years after that. But it's okay because provided your parents didn't hold your hand over a gas stove for coming home after 11pm. You finish your great journey as a well adjusted emotionally competent adult. And it's all shit knees and saggy tits from then on. But some of us hit a few snags along the way and don't turn out the way we should. I bring you one such case in progress from an eight-year-old kid who is taking the word phase to a whole new level. I think that anyone can do what they want in life. Eight years old, people! If I saw a girl dressed like that, I'd be like, what the actual fuck? But no, he is half right. You can do what you want. However, certain things will land you in a heap of shit. Killing six million Jews, for instance. It might have taken the edge off if Hitler was a drag queen, though. No one would have taken it seriously, would they? It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. If you want to be a drag queen and your parents don't let you, you need new parents. I think we can all agree that yes, you do need new parents, kiddo. This is what you get when you don't tell your child no once in a damn while. I'm kind of understanding why ISIS keep blowing us up now. If you want to be a drag queen and your friends don't let you, you need new friends. No, no, I think you should be listening to your friends on that one, little man. It takes a good mate to say you look like a dick. Unless you're going to surround yourself with other eight-year-old drag queens, but I'm guessing they're not all that common, you know? All right, boys and girls and everything in between, stop what you're doing because tonight we're with the fabulous Lactatia. How are you? Haha, <laughs> Lactatia, like lactate, as in to squeeze tit juice out of your mammaries, which coincidentally, this kid is probably still being fed on. Also, this other guy couldn't sound more gay if he fucking tried, could he? You can't say there's no truth in stereotypes when you have this bloke mincing around all flamboyant and shit. That's just ignorant. Super pumped. I'm going to pr- I'm going to walk the runway and I'm going to vogue. Uh, we can't wait to see you vogue. You know how you're turning out to be like a social media superstar right now? Yeah, the internet loves weird shit, doesn't it? Back in the day, he would have been sent to some kind of camp or sent to live on a farm for a couple of months. Now, we celebrate it. I mean, no one should be this fucked up at such a young age. That's what puberty is for. And it's fucking dark out. Shouldn't he be in bed? Kind of. I saw, I've seen a bunch of people want to interview me and a bunch of people writing articles about me. Oh, I can see that. Definitely. A lot of people are going to use you to prove some bullshit that can't really be proven. You'll be held as a hero by the LGBT collective until you get older and less interesting. And Lindsay will probably refer to you in an episode of Queer Kid Stuff. In short, you'll be exploited and you will regret these videos later on in life because though you may outgrow this hobby, can I call it a hobby? Fuck it. Though you may outgrow it, the footage isn't going anywhere. Because I went up on stage at the Work the World tour. Work the World? With a Q? That's RuPaul, isn't it? What the fuck? was he doing there? Isn't that shit generally considered to be adult entertainment? Lots of cock jokes and shit like that? What the fuck was he doing there? Because I was dressed in drag and everyone thought that was super cute. Oh well, each to their own I guess because I think this is fucking horrifying. I'm gonna have nightmares about this shit, I can already tell. I'll be seeing the shadow of a midget drag queen at the top of my stairs. I don't give a fuck man, I'm kicking that bastard down them. It reminds me of the film Toy Soldiers when all those Barbie dolls go mental Fucking freaky shit, man. What is your name? Um, Latisha. Latisha? I'm just saying, you don't see the Wiggles get up on stage and announce, we're gonna sing you a motherfucking song, bitches. You know, there's just some forms of entertainment that isn't meant for kids. Actually, the Wiggles are pretty off-key anyway. Their song about Papa Doms fucking slayed me. <laughs> the cricket bat is so fucking... I love it. And is this your first time in drag? Ah, <laughs> oh, well done, little dude. You've got the approval of a room full of men who wear fake tits to sell shots of Jägermeister in gay clubs. It's good to have life goals and all, but I can't help but think you could aim a little higher, you know? Letitia, I was you as a child. <laughs> 
Ah, yes, the underlying joke being that no, no, he wasn't. Don't get me wrong, playing dress up is an innocent enough thing, provided you don't use your mum's $200 bottle of Chanel, but fuck, there's gotta be a limit. He should be out climbing trees and, and throwing stones at other kids, you know? Down the park sniffing glue. Not being screamed at by a sea of glitter and fake eyelashes. I absolutely adore you, and this is brilliant, and I love the fact that you're here. And what I love most about this is that your mom is here with you, support you. Is that correct? cheering because his mum's there. Well, this is pretty poor parenting as it is, but even she knows she can't send her eight-year-old into a bar full of inebriated adults on his own. Don't cheer that, it's common fucking sense. Well, not all that common, really, considering, but still. I've been getting into drag since I was, like, seven. Oh, so around a year, then. Okay. But literally, I've been wearing, like, dresses and being into girl stuff since I was, like, free. That's cool, buddy. You like what you like. I can't fault you for that. However, there is a difference between liking girl stuff and dressing like a fucking hooker. I can't imagine what kind of mess you'll be when you're a teenager. It's gonna kick off. I know that much. And where does the name come from? Well, my sister made it up and we all thought that was really funny. Ah, you have a sister. Okay, that explains where the clothes come from. Getting some real use out of those second-hand togs, eh? I appreciate that. But does your sister do the makeup thing as well? And all the jewellery? I know, I know. Boys can look like girls and girls can look like boys. That's up to them. But no kid should be a performing drag queen. It's scary, for one. Like, if a kiddie's like, I want to be an astronaut, then fair enough, little one. You can be whatever you want to be, but you're gonna have to wait until you're older. And then you kept it. Yeah, I kept it. So I want to say a little hi to your parents because I understand that your mom did your makeup tonight. Am I right? Oh, so she's the one to blame for this bollocks then. Okay, bring her on. Hold on. Is that a septum piercing? Well, that explains that then, doesn't it? Anyone with a piercing like that shouldn't be allowed to have kids. It's a sign they'll try to be progressive through them, resulting in one messed up child. You remember that trans kitty on the cover of National Geographic? Here they all are, trans flag and LGBT flag. Fair bit of conditioning going on in that house, methinks. Yeah. I get you to go to Ellen the Generous. Oh yeah, very slight hint there. That's the one thing the gays never quite got down. Subtlety. Would you love that? Ellen is. Like, I, I want to go see I, do, I, I know. I do know who Ellen you is. You do know who Ellen is? Ellen the Generous. Right, so we've got the mother doing the makeup, the mother accompanying him to these shows, and the mother's hope of achieving something that the child has to insist he does indeed know about. Yep, this is being progressive through the child. PTC. I'm coining it. It's been coined. What would you do if you'd like... Yeah, but what would you do if she would invite you? Uh, I don't know. Would you like prepare like a special number for Ellen? Definitely. What kind of number would you do? Uh, I would do a lip sync. Yeah. I love lip syncing. A child who enjoys lip syncing. Nothing wrong there, but the rest of it, I'm pretty sure that's how Michael Jackson was made. In regards to the parenting, not the appearing as something he isn't. Oh, actually. So what are we doing tonight? Well, whatever your gay name is. Lance? Lance. Well, Lance, tonight we're fucking up our kids. Uh, Nemesis is doing the virgin voguing because he's been taking voguing classes. Okay. Voguing classes. I must admit, I had to look this shit up and son, it just ain't pretty. We'll see some in a minute, so don't worry. But just so you know, I warned you. With uh, Gerard X. Reyes, who's fantastic. He's doing first time in drags at a ball. I don't know what that means, but there's two further clues on the screen right now. We have another septum ring showing us this guy's outlook in the same way as a yellow fucking star. And an anti Nazi patch, showing us this girl's outlook in the same way as a yellow fucking star. Put them together, and you have a classic case of PTC. Progression through crotch fruit. Uh, crotch fruit is, is one word. Oh, hyphenated. No, no, it's, it's one word. We're gonna go inside see your performance, alright? Okay. This is gonna be- Whoa, you're starting without me, okay. <laughs> Ah, yes, this is the classic. Actually, oi, do you want to take this bit? Uh, me? Yes, you knob. Oh, well, don't mind if I do. D do I read off of Read the... off the thing, yeah. Righto. Ah, yes, this is the classic duck walk, one of the five elements of Vogue Femme. It's far from appealing to the eye, in my opinion, and reminds me of the ghost in the movie Mama. You know, the way she moves and shit. Creepy as hell, son. <laughs> Here we see the catwalk implemented, in frightening proportion. Though the hips could be
be considered tight. I don't know about you, but such a display of white, red, and yellow has put me off of hot dogs for life. <laughs> Now that was actually quite impressive. We had someone doing flips and shit, but is then followed by a guy juggling with imaginary balls. What a fucking... <laughs> Another demonstration of, this time, two elements of Vogue Femme. The spin and dip, considered the showiest part of Vogue, followed immediately by floor work, a display of sensuality. <laughs> Alright, not too bad at the moment, the kid just looks drunk. I thought I was- No, you're done, mate. And what about me? Oh, don't fuck off, man. This wasn't a group thing. <laughs> and now it's weird again. <laughs> anyone got a clue what he just said? He sounds like the fucking tannoy at a train station. And come on, a back tattoo? I know it's not real, but it's still eerie. Oh, and what do we have here? Two people wearing the same patch on their back with an eight-year-old drag queen son. That's not weird. No alarm bells ringing here. So there we have it, people. Proof the far fucking left will use their own children for their social political bullshit. In the meantime, the rest of us will mess up our kids the old-fashioned way. Thanks for watching, guys. Please consider becoming a patron to shove a dollar down my g-string. The link is in the description and remember, sometimes having kids can be a real drag.